Well, uh, Gutenberg is uh, pretty much uh, a wonder in the, as a technology point of view. You know, it's, there are many modern tools used in there. It's pretty interesting. So I'm not sure it's uh, all about content. It's mm -hmm. also about the technical part that I love about it. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I'm excited that uh, WordPress users will finally uh, be served with, they will find the server with a user interface a great user interface and an easy to use one until now we kind of have our struggle with using the old uh, editor but as i can see many people come and say hey i love gutenberg it's very easy to use i, I think that it will rock i don't know <laughs> uh, i guess that um, you cannot create meta boxes the old meta boxes like developers are we don't know about but that's kind of false because the way you could create your own meta boxes now you can create your own sidebar api or blocks and you just have to learn the process <laughs> but it's a false me that oh it's impossible to do that now no it's possible you just have to do it i still wait for, for a great uh, good word theme because i think that uh, until now, uh, theme creators tried to uh, uh, create themes in the old style mm -hmm. without Gutenberg. And they are trying to do the same thing. They are bringing the old paradigms. I think that right now we somehow need a new perspective. We need a new way of uh, creating themes with this new like editor. Like erase what you have yes, and start. Yes, because we are bringing a tons of uh, old things. And to be honest, I recently changed the theme on my website. I was searching uh, a lot, I don't know, I didn't find a great theme, but I'm pretty happy with my choice at this moment. <laughs> uh, this update, yeah, I, I think I already said that uh, it will bring a lot of uh, a better user experience uh, for authors, not necessarily for developers, but for developers, he says, I am one. <laughs> Still, uh, but for developers, it also brings some sort of uh, new rules, new ground for the JavaScript environment. Because until now, we had standardization only in the server side, only PHP developers ha had these kind of rules. But now, we, we are getting rules in the JavaScript part, in the browser, where it was a jungle, everyone created their own interface, their own style. Their own. Now Gutenberg comes and says, hey, this is from now on our style. This, here you put your sidebar, here you will put your uh, icons, your buttons, your shortcodes. We will, there, there are boundaries uh, which come with Gutenberg. And I think this is a good thing. People are resisting the change. I don't know. They, I guess that they are slightly uh, nervous about the fact that they need to learn something new right now. And plus the fact that it comes with a deadline, mm -hmm. you know, and they are scared that if they can't do it until the, the, the end of November or what is going on. There are alternatives. Uh, it's, a, it's a learning process. As you can learn the same way as you learn PHP or create short codes with metabots. Uh, I don't think that it's necessarily a message, but I really want to think that whenever someone is uh, against a decision uh, made by a leading team, or something like, we must know that that decision is actually part of a chain of decisions. Okay, so we, we don't agree with one decision. Okay, but let's think about that. Uh, you have this entire chain is about the future where is going where we are going to go with WordPress so uh, if you dislike one decision you must ask yourself could you really take the responsibility and take that decision yourself for 30 million webs uh, websites and not just that can you take the responsibility for the entire chain of decision what where WordPress will go what's the future here because until now, the leading uh, team of WordPress, I think that they've made good decisions. Yes, the sooner the better. I mean, at least only in some safe environment, local environments or something. And just test it. It's, it's not going to bite. <laughs> so, okay, I know that uh, 
we already have articles written, thousands of articles, and it's hard to put there good the work. Just replicate that environment, those websites somewhere safe, try it, and I'm pretty sure that it will be a, a pleasant experience. Is the old content being um, affected by this change if, if you install Gutenberg on the old content? It depends what, what kind of uh, setup you have on your web website. Mm -hmm. Because if you have WordPress as it is, probably it will uh, automatically convert it and will be safe to use Gutenberg. But um, the problem comes when people are, are using editing uh, plugins, short old short codes or their plugins somehow interfere with the content. There is a problem because the person who created the plugin must also come down and create some sort of transformation process. Without that developer doing so, it will break. But the API, the documentation, the docs are there, anyone can do it. It's free. It's, I mean, it's supposed to be an easy process somehow, but again, it's hard. I don't know why. You, yourself? <laughs> uh, yes, I did a blog, uh, I did publish an article for a year, I think. Actually, right now I'm publishing my uh, uh, presentation at work in Bucharest. But um, I really hope that um, at some point I will turn to one article per month or something like that. I wish to do that. And uh, thinking that Gutenberg will create an easy process for me to create a reusable uh, content parts, some snippets, some uh, code snippets that I like to use and share example of. If I'm going to create a blog in Gutenberg for that, probably I'm going to, to publish more. Like oh, the, my the beard! <laughs> 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 no, actually I grow my beard to look my, uh, more like, uh, like my name, which is Andrew Wolf uh -huh. somehow. <laughs> 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 so, let's keep the appearances <laughs> with the name, let's say. Mm-hmm.